Nikki does here. I hope the audio is working just fine because it's behind the camera and I don't have the proper mic on. But I am kind of in a hurry, so I apologize for the terrible audio. Um, latest status update on the Prusa, Prusa with the Revo 40 watt um, E3D Revo hot end on it. It is still not working, and um, now I have replaced or swapped the uh, Einzi Rambo board from a different um, printer. This is the one that was in here. And I've taken this one out just because I wanted to see what exactly was going on. I completely disassembled the wiring loom. I completely rewired everything. Um, this is not my first rodeo. Uh, I run three of these routinely, or I try to run three of these routinely here. I've also got some Enders and some other printers. So uh, this is not my first rodeo, so um, not to say I can't screw up. We all can, but hey, you know, I'm just giving it a shot. So I did replace the board completely. I then went through and from the desktop computer, whatever, the, the desktop machine over here, I reflashed the uh, firmware E3D Revo FW MK3S underscore MK3S plus underscore three underscore one three underscore three underscore seven zero nine four underscore no not underscore dot hex. So um, in any case, then I went through and I actually did this already once. Uh, the firmware flashing fails the first time but it succeeds the second time, and I've seen that now every single time I do the firmware flashing. So I'm going to erase all data. It will reboot to 3.13.3. We'll just do a quick, all right, that's English. Yes, uh, no, right now I'm just going to go through, it's gonna reboot again, I believe, no. Nope. I'm going to go through and go to support and show the firmware 3.13. 0.3-7094, there's the hash in it, for those of you who care. Um, it is the E3D Revo. And I think that's it. So what I'm going to do now is uh, reset this one more time. All data. Okay, yes, I'd like to be guided. Some self-test stuff. So we're going to insert some filament. Sensor verified, we'll remove the filament. It's going to fail here, not on this step, but it's going to fail in a little bit. And it's going to give me something I don't really know how to look up. It is a zero or a small zero or an O down here in the bottom, I think bottom right corner with a dot in the middle. So it's kind of a zero. So the Super Pinda sensor works. I believe this is calibrating the TMC, the Trinamic uh, stepper drive for its homing, sensorless homing. Now it's going to raise the bed temp first and that'll work. <clears throat> but then it's going to raise the hot end temp and that's not going to work. I'm just verifying that everything is in fact plugged in and it's proper. The hot end wires go to the hot end and the uh, so the bed is heating. You can see the LED. I think you can see the LED. Is it 
right in that way of that x-axis rod. There we go. So the heat is steady on. There's going to be a series of beeps coming up. And that's the end of that. Well, boo. So I'm going to post this video, reference it in the GitHub issue, and hopefully um, find some sort of resolution to this.